Louisiana Beer Reviews Trader Jose Premium Lager. I bought this in Baton Rouge at Trader Joe's. It says best before June 13, 2015, so it's got a lot of time on it. 11.2 ounce bottle imported from Mexico, brewed by the uh, brewery in Tecate. They do a lot of their own stuff and they do contract brewing. Um, this was one dollar for the bottle. It's cheaper if you buy the six pack. Um, I had the light yesterday, or no, the day before yesterday. It was okay. I mean, it was interesting. If you like light beer, you'd probably like it. Um, Imported by Alta Marketing Company. Hmm, I wonder if that's affiliated with Trader Joe's. This is a store brand beer. They might have this under some other store labels also. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know the alcohol content. Now, Rape Beer is saying 3.8, but um, they're not really providing any verification of that. They're just saying it, you know. Uh, Trader Joe's website doesn't give any information about the ABV. Gets a poor score on Beer Advocate with 71 ratings, no shock there. Uh, 6 out of 100 on Rapier, 48 out of 100 for the style, 74 ratings. So we're looking at 145 scores on those two big sites. And then the Beer and Me saying fine, which would be like a B minus, something like that. So let's check it out. Twist cap. Hopefully it's not skunked in this clear Corona-esque bottle, which is what they're trying to convey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot of smoke. Lots of water vapor coming out of that. <clears throat> it looks hazy in the bottle. Now, I know the light beer was an all malt beer, but I don't recall seeing that description on um, the, the rundown on this one. I'm going to have to go back and check the Fearless Flyer and see if this is all malt. Hazy, straw, bubbly. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of like Corona, but I don't think Corona is as hazy. Kind of a thin to medium white head. Got my Tulane stuff on. Looking forward to their first game tonight in Tulsa next week. Their first home game in their new stadium that's going to open up September 6th. Got my season tickets. <laughs> I figured, well, I'll buy four. Four packs of season tickets. Four ticket books <laughs> for the six home games. Get a better deal if you buy a pack, a pack like that. <clears throat> okay. So we're looking forward to it, and lots of people are contacting me saying, what do you think about me getting tickets? I say, First game sold out. You may have a problem, but you could probably go to Street Master, you know what I mean? Hit the streets and have cash in hand and start negotiating. <clears throat> I use Street Master a lot for Saints games. It's a um, sweet aroma, but it's not overly sweet. It's not overly pungent. It's not overly anything. It's just mild. There's no skunk, thankfully. I think it was a real fresh bottle. It wasn't set, setting out in the uh, light for too long. It just smells like a real low-profile lager beer. I don't know if it's all malt, but um, the flavor. There's a little hoppiness there in the back end, for sure. You pick that up right off the bat, that little hop bitterness for balancing. Uh, And riding alongside with it is a sweet malt, barley malt, probably corn. I think it's probably got malt uh, adjunct in it. Um, mouthfeel is on the light side, of course. A little bit prickly from the carbonation. The finish is refreshing and mostly dry. Um, I don't know, I think the light had more <laughs> character than the regular. It seemed, seemed to me like the light beer had a, you know, that, that smell I was describing that I couldn't pin down and that flavor, but it, but it was some character to it. This one seems duller and less flavorful than the light. And there are some light beers that have more flavor than regular beers, like the Imperial, I believe that's, no, that's not, what is it called? Uh, no, it's from uh, Puerto Rico. Medalla, medalla. 
obviously my dial, you know, English speaking, but uh, that one is better than most regular beers I've had. Imperials from Costa Rica, I think. Um, eh, it's kind of dull. There's nothing bad about it, though. It's just blah, blah. Not blah like bad, but just blah like blah. For four ninety nine a six pack, I wouldn't really buy it. Um, it's a bad imitation of Corona. Corona's got way more flavor. Some people say Corona's bad. I don't, I don't get that, but um, you could pay five ninety nine and get a six pack of Tecate, which is way better than this. You're gonna pay a little bit more money, but you're gonna get ex a substantial amount of flavor on uh, above this. So this. Tecate is hoppier, it's f more full flavored, it's everything better than this. So I would give this a C minus. It's at the lower end of average, really. It's kind of one of those failure Trader Joe's beers. It's not ghastly like the um, name tag, which is just outright bad, but this is not something I would recommend getting. So if you want something really dull and flavorless and uh, pointless, buy it but otherwise avoid it. And y'all come on down to New Orleans. <laughs> that carbonation, no. Come on, come on down to New Orleans and go to the Georgia Tech at Tulane game on September 6th. Hit Street Master or Ticket Exchange, whatever. Thank you for watching this video production.